Uh, but I'm astonished that we've got to report uh, without actually having a very, uh, as yet, adequate response to, to any of them. Um, the uh, Ch Charter for Fundamental Rights, just uh, proceedings, and because I thought the treaty was highly desirable. I'm glad to say when we came to power, we showed not the slightest sign of wishing to undo any of it. Uh, but the, the, um, the Charter of Fundamental Rights... Uh, but the, the, um, the Charter of Fundamental Rights uh, recommend that Parliament should be able to debate that question, which of course it cannot do adequately in the rush procedure <laughs> this afternoon. And we draw Parliament's attention finally to our serious concerns about the vigour with which the government is pursuing prosecution as its preferred counter-terrorism measure, and what we now consider to be the urgency of the need to bring forward measures to facilitate prosecution. Again, I hope the Minister in her reply will tell us what are the... We should be encouraging organics, not jeopardising them with secret GM field trials. The explanatory memorandum refers to upcoming wider reform, but provides no information on what the government plans are for this wider reform. I am not able to support this SI. My Lord, um, I want to take part in this debate because uh, for, I state my position as somebody who is a, um, a Remainer, but if there's two things that I welcome in coming out of the common market, one is the CAP and this particular um, gene editing. But the Noble Lord was fast asleep for the entire duration of the Minister's speech. He really should not participate in this debate, having failed to take, take advantage of the ability to irritate. I'm afraid the Noble Lord was fast asleep for the entirety of the Minister's um, opening speech. Well, I had to send a note to you in order to wake you up by the doorkeeper.